Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome and thanks for tuning in. If you are a continued supporter, thank you, cause you a real one for real, for real, okay? So if you clicked on the video, you already know what's happening, all right? We taking down these knotless braids, finally. It's, it's been long overdue, all right? Let's get straight into this video. First things first, when you taking down um, braids of any kind, knotless, the little regular traditional box braids, you always wanna cut up under your where your natural hair is. And if you're kinda unsure, you can kinda see the frizz here. That'll kinda like let you know where to, to cut. But what I always do, just in case I don't cut my real hair, because that'd just be all bad, okay? Just, no ma'am. I cut a little further down the braid just to where I know my natural hair doesn't fall just so I don't cut it. Huh? So I'm gonna cut her right here because I know my hair, I know my natural hair don't go this far down in the braid. You know what? Just in case, we just to be safe, you know. Let's cut her right above the rubber band, okay? Boom. Boom, pal. She cut. The first time I ever went to New York, I want to say I was like 19 or something like that, right? It was a girl's trip. They were my friends at the time or acquaintances, however you want to, whatever you want to call it. Oh. My parents were a little nervous about me um, going. Obviously, I'm like 19. It's my first time going somewhere without them around. So, and it's New York. It's a big city. Like, let's be real, okay? It's a big city. A lot can happen out there. Y'all watch SVU and, and uh, what, else, what else is filmed out there? Power and all them other shows. You know, I mean, it's a lot more New York than what you see on TV, but you get it, you know? And keep in mind, I wanna say it was like five of us to a room, but you know, like standard hotels, it's really only supposed to be like two, like four people in one room because like I guess the biggest bed could be like a queen, like two per queen bed or something like that, whatever. I was the fifth body, okay? So three of us was not about to pack in one bed, okay? So what they did was they asked for a, um, like a cot, like, like a sleeping cot or whatever, right? And I'm just like, damn, I just had to be on a cot. It wasn't the most comfortable, but it is what it is. So that was that. I was the only one that had a cot. Everyone else had a bed, okay? This, this video is not about my trip in New, in New York. It's about getting the bed bugs. So I'm fast forwarding through the trip. Now, mind you, I didn't start noticing these bugs right away. It took some time for them to, I guess, appear and make themselves. Hello. It just took some time for them to, to appear, okay, in plain sight. And I will wake up with like, like these little, like these little like bumps on like my arms or like my knees, stuff like that, right? And mind you, growing up, I've had like eczema and like skin problems. So I just kind of thought it was from that. Now I would randomly like just see these like bugs on my bed, right? I would just see like one. Oh my God, what is that? Like maybe every couple days, something like that. And you know, sometimes when you see like a small bug, what you do, you just kind of pinch it and it goes on its way, you just put it in the trash or the toilet and it's done. So when I would like pinch the bug, I would, um, red stuff would come out, right? So when I'm pinching it, I'm thinking the red stuff is from them bleeding, you know, and from squashing a bug. Child, bed bugs are some little vampires, okay? They some blood suckers. The stuff that I was seeing from squishing the bug, it was my blood, it wasn't theirs, it was mine, okay? Mind you, this is around the time before social media was even a thing. My parents, they used to um, get newspapers on a daily basis. Like they was the parents that opened up the paper, read cover to cover, page to page, okay? And one time we had saw a story in a newspaper about um, bed bugs and hotels in New York City. What? Hold up, oh, hold up, wait a minute. I don't even know how we even figured out it was a bed bug. I'm not gonna even lie to you. I don't even remember how we came to the conclusion that this is what it was. Every few days I would like see this bug and I would like just like pinch it, right? And like red stuff would come out. So one day when I tell you I pull back my sheets, child. There were bugs on my mattress, y'all. Like that bed bug stuff is 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 real. It's real life, okay? If you've ever had them 
or know somebody who had them, let me know in the comments because if you ever get them, Lord Jesus, I hope you don't. I don't wish I know my worst enemy. They are hard to get rid of. They like roaches basically, but I feel like they're worse than roaches when it's when you're trying to get rid of them. I don't know. It's just bed bugs. It's just, they ain't nothing to play with at all. Okay. Anyways, like I was saying, I don't really remember um, how we came to the conclusion that it was a bed bug or whatever. And yeah, so that was that. Oh, y'all, this is my hair. Wow. Y'all, I thought I was still. <laughs> Y'all, look at this. Like, let's let's get into it. Let me step back so y'all can get the experience of this length, okay? We don't care. Let me tell. <laughs> right, let me tell. Get, y'all. What is she doing right? What is she doing right? I'm over here unraveling my hair. I'm still digging. This is a part of the braiding hair. That's why I'm like taking it out. Like, what? Come on. Yes. Girl, and I'm pretty sure she already detangled, so I'm not even about to play. Let me just kind of throw her in like a little twist because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wash her twisted up and that's something I have never done before. Never done that before. And that's something I've been wanting to do for a while anyway. Yeah, so basically the bugs, they were, they were sucking my blood. They're really active at night and they suck your blood. Cause I remember doing research or something at some point in time and like looking up stuff and like how they mutate and they don't need like another bug to like mate. It's something how they just kind of, yeah, child. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. So basically I moved from my room and I started sleeping in my parents' room. I don't think I was really thinking like, oh, if you stop sleeping in your room, they're gonna follow you. I didn't, that didn't like, that didn't pop in my mind. What's going on? It's like something is, that like gunk stuff. Okay. So I'm gonna twist it and then go through, ugh, my hair, why is it like tangled? That's weird. Cause it, oh, you know what? Ah. I think it's from the like the edge control or whatever I use when I did the style. So it kind of like gunked up a little bit. So I'm gonna just do this and then, yeah. So anyways, I wasn't thinking like, oh, I leave my room, they're gonna follow me. Child, when I tell y'all the bugs follow me from my room, girl, they say she got the good blood, okay? We wanna suck on her blood and her blood only, okay? I don't understand. My room was down the hall. At that time, we had like a, a five bedroom house and my room was down the hall. My parents' room was the other end of the hall, y'all. They must have just somehow just slivered their way in the carpet or something because they ended up in my parents' room and my dad started getting bit. I don't recall my mom getting bit, to be honest. I don't know, I don't really remember. I just remember him getting bit, y'all. Long story short, the nest ended up being in my parents' room, which is crazy because they originally started in my room. So they must have like attached themselves maybe to like, cause that's what they do. They will attach themselves to like your clothes or luggage. That's why I'm low key like weird about like my suitcase and stuff. This is like well, well before the pandemic. So I've always been kind of like skeptical of like hotels and stuff. And what I typically do um, when I go in hotels is I'll kind of like Lysol wipe remotes. And I used to, uh, when, it, when I freshly had bed bugs and I was traveling shortly after that, I used to like lift up the blankets in the hotels cause it would tell you on the internet different signs to look for in hotels or wherever you're gonna stay for like little signs for like bed bugs and stuff like that. If there's like little streaks on the, the mattress or the covers, like just pay attention and be mindful. And I do not, I refuse to walk on hotel floors barefoot. I don't see how people do that. Like I always keep on slides and this is before the pandemic. So all these little new rules they talking about life falling and all this stuff, child, please. I am the, the, pan, the pandemic cautionary, okay? This is well before that. So Miss Thing been OCD. She been about this OCD life, okay? So eventually we ended up getting an exterminator and my cousin, um, at the time when all this happened, he used to work for an exterminator company. So he was able, from to my understanding, was able to give us like a discount or whatever. I guess like this little family discount or something. Y'all, I wish I had those pictures. They, I'm sure they're around somewhere because my dad was the documenting king. He documented any and everything. And when I tell you, when I saw them photos, 
y'all because i wasn't at the house at the time when they were um when he was like spraying or whatever he was doing to get rid of the bed bugs i wasn't at the house at the time i don't know where i was i was somewhere though um when he showed me the photos of like because at the time they had like a wooden like bed frame y'all the picture that I saw of the bed frame, they took it apart in our backyard. I saw the picture. It was like bed bugs, like insane. They literally started nesting in my parents' room. The nest wasn't in my room, although they started tearing me up. Y'all, the nest ended up in my parents' room. So they clearly got rid of that bed frame. And my cousin who worked for the exterminator company was able to do his thing and do whatever exterminators do which is a job, get rid of bugs, okay? They could have came from the hotel, they could have came from somebody else's luggage on the plane, but I really think they came from that hotel. And mind you, it wasn't like a motel, like a, like a, a three star, it was a very, it was a nice hotel. Like, and I don't ask me where it was, I don't remember, but I feel like it was probably like a Marriott or a Hyatt or something. Cause I remember the lobby being like nice or whatever. And it looked like no sus hotel. It didn't look, it looked, it was a nicer hotel. So yeah, anyways, that concludes the story time, but it does not conclude this video. We gonna keep taking these braids out. So I took the little twists out that I was actually doing um, because I said I was gonna wash it in the twist. Still gonna do that. But since I have like gunk on like the top of my hair, like right there, as you can see all that like yucky residue, my hair is kind of like tangled and I don't want it to get matted in the shower. So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna just go through each section and spray it and then like just kind of like kind of detangle a little bit and we'll go from there okay let's get to it okay So I'm just halfway through the twisting right now. I'm just basically twisting them in the same sections they were in when I had them braided, okay? So I'ma just keep twisting y'all, okay? Okay y'all, so that's pretty much it for my hair. These ends look garbage right now and I'm low key thinking about just snipping them like that. I know that's not the proper way to trim ends, but just this looks just awful. I just want to go snip snip. I'm gonna just do a couple stragglers. I don't know. Just, it's just so like. A really dumb, for real. I know I'm doing this totally wrong. Don't take trimming advice from me, okay? Cause these stragglers, girl, I can't, I cannot do it. And there's still some dead ends on there, but at least I got the ones that look real jagged. Like it's just hair, it's gonna grow back. And I'm barely even, I'm barely taking like an inch. Not maybe, maybe, I don't know child. I just know it's coming off. And you know, we gotta give our hair a little trim anyway, because that's how she grows, you know? Can't be having all this little dead hair on the ends, okay? Cause I'm not here for it. She needs to, she needs to go. Okay y'all, so I'm done fake trimming my ends cause they still look like trash, but at least the little jagged parts is off. So that's just that. I'm gonna just throw my hair in the bonnet, you know, and I'll wash her manana cause she ain't about to get to her tonight. It's just not about to happen. That's just that y'all. When I say I feel so free without all that hair, man, it makes such a difference when you take them braids out Ooh -wee. that pretty much concludes this video if you enjoyed my story time let me know in the comments let me know if you even had bed bugs before let me know just let me know okay am i the only one out there who had bed bugs anyway if you like this video please don't forget to like and subscribe do all that good stuff for your girl and until my next video peace